Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting a like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too, it really helps out. And let's crack on with today's first story. Much love, guys. Now, before we do get into today's story, this is a story that we have covered in the past, but now has new updates with it. So if you do want to skip parts of the story, timestamps are down in the description. Please feel free to use them. That's what they are there for. And let's get into it. Now, today's story comes from Sienna No Mama, who says, I, 20 female, found out my mother, 43 female, had a secret baby two years ago, and it's not my dad's and it does come with an update. This situation is really messing with my head. And at this point, my own mother and grandmother are near enough attempting to bribe me to stay quiet. So I, 20 female, am one of four, or so I believed until a few days ago. There is me, my twin brother, Eddie, 20 male, my two older half siblings, Reuben, 24 male, and Grace, 23 female. Reuben is my mum's first child and Grace is my dad's 45 male first also. So around two years ago, our grandmother on my mum's side had cancer and my mum went and moved in with her for a while to help and care for her. We didn't see her throughout this whole time as my grandmother lives halfway across the country. Plus at the time, I and my bro was busy with last year's school exams and Reuben was staying with his dad in England so nobody could go out to visit not even dad to see his wife because he was really busy with work himself. Mum was gone for a total of six months and when she got back, she had changed. She seemed very sad and would constantly be all over me and my brother. I assumed she just missed us while she was gone. Two years passed since then and on a visit home when doing things around the house, I knocked over my mum's handbag and everything fell out. Naturally, I cleaned up, but in my mum's wallet, there was a picture sticking out of her with a newborn baby in a hospital bed. I was confused at first and thought maybe it was her with me or one of my brothers as babies, but it was dated from the time she was away with my gran. I ended up confronting my mum about it and she froze at first, but then tried brushing me off and changing the subject, but I wouldn't let her. I wanted to know why she was in a hospital bed with a baby around the time she was gone. Either she tell me or I show dad, I told her. That's when she started crying and told me everything. She had an affair with another man, that's not my dad. She started her affair in 2018, got knocked up in 2019 and gave birth early 2020. I have a baby brother. She had a secret baby and nobody noticed. My gran knew and covered for her. She never had cancer and she just lied about the chemo and surgeries. How could I be so stupid? I'm so angry with her. I asked about her pregnancy and the other man. Turns out she didn't go to my grand's to have the baby, but just the other end of town to her affair partner's house and just didn't leave his house. And what's worse is the affair partner was 24 at the time with two kids already, but at least he was single. She stayed with her affair partner and his kids while going through a pregnancy and left the baby with him. I asked more about this man, looked him up and I know him. He is the son of a family friend and have seen him around town with my baby brother and didn't even know it. I've not been doing well since finding all this out. My mum keeps trying to talk to me, but I either lock her out of the room I'm in or be around my dad so she can't talk about it. Whenever she does get a chance to talk to me, she does whatever she can to try and keep me quiet. Even tried bribing me with money or shopping trips and, and even got my gran to try and guilt trip me. I don't know what to do. Does anyone have any experience with stuff like this? Any advice they can give me? Do I reach out to this man and ask about my brother? Do I tell my dad? I don't even know if she's still continuing the affair or if she's in my brother's life at all. And I remember coming into this one last time and, and saying, you know, I think you need to let your dad know. Yes, it's likely to do huge amount of damage to your family, but you know, she is the cause of this. She is the one who's done this in the end. She started the affair. She had the child and is trying to just, you know, brush it all under the carpet and make it go away. And what went through my head at that time and still does is what if your dad finds out that you was lying to him as well? You know, it's not, I can't imagine this could be, be kept hidden for the foreseeable future. At some point it will come out and it will come out that you knew about it as well. 
So your dad will look at you like you've lied to him at the same time. And I know you're just stuck in the middle on in this and it wouldn't be fair and it would be absolutely shitty, but I can only imagine what your dad would feel finding out all this information at once. But before the updates, Infinite says, this is going to destroy your family. If you choose to tell your dad, it'll eat you up inside and you'll start to hate your mother and distance yourself from her. If you tell your dad, he'll most likely flip the fuck out and leave her. Honestly, your mother is the worst. She deserves everything that comes to her. She cheated on your dad, had a fucking child and lied to everyone about it. And even worse, the person she fucked around with is a family friend. Sorry, but she's a pretty horrible person. Notorious Dad says, tell your dad, otherwise you'll become part of your mum's betrayal. Don't give your mum a chance to tell him first. She will just pressure you or spin a lie to avoid confronting her infidelity. Sit him down with a sibling and tell him what you've learned. Allow him to be sad and break down in front of you. Advise him to take steps to protect himself before he confronts your mother. Tell him to go see a lawyer and learn what divorce looks like for him. It's incredibly important to be informed. Follow the lawyer's advice, re evidence, money, assets, etc. No booze, no sex, STD check, DNA test for all the kids. Don't leave his home. Make her leave if needs be. Get IC for him to help him deal with emotions and pain. Shock her out of an affair fog with divorce papers. He can decide to divorce or reconcile after she's been served. Once served, tell his close friends and family so they can provide support for him. Cut grandma out. Office Max replies that saying there was a post on one of the infidelity support subs about a man with three daughters who knew his wife, who was his childhood love, who was having an affair and never told him. In fact, they accepted bribes from their mother to not tell him. When he found out that they knew, it destroyed him. Tell your father, it will destroy your parents' marriage, but don't you betray him too. And you aren't damaging your family. Your mum did that by having an affair with a 24 year old and having the child with him, then living with him while having his kid. And one more from late enough who says, if she just left, stayed with Gran, gave birth and adopted out the kid to whoever and came home. That's bad enough, but all right, she made a mistake. She got pregnant and dealt with it. Dad should still leave her, but okay. Instead, she left and moved in with him like for months. She up and left you and your dad to live with and let's be realistic, have constant sex with him. Especially there was no fear of another baby. They probably talked about how to make it work and they couldn't. In reality, she left your dad for months to be with another man, only returning home when it wouldn't work. And worse, the baby is still close enough for her to see at any time, at any point. 23 and me, ancestry, the kid will find out at some point who his real mum is. Rip the band-aid. Tell your dad. Mum just didn't have an affair and accidentally get knocked up. She went to live with a lover. Fuck him all the time and then tried to come back as if nothing happened. Just no. And we do have a couple of updates on this one. The first one came from a couple of days later who said, hello, if you don't know what the issue is, then the story is linked above or just read the title. So those who DM'd me and friends I've spoken with all told me to tell my dad and that's what I did. At first he was in complete and utter denial and even when I showed him the picture of my mum with my secret baby brother and used the text my mum and gran sent me as proof. I had never seen him cry before, ever. Not even when my uncle died a few years ago. I never saw him tear up. Eventually my mum came home and my dad just screamed and shouted at her. It was awful. I showed everything to my brother and sister and my half-sister actually got into a physical fight with my mum. I felt so guilty about saying all this. Mum has gone to my grandma's. Neither of my brothers are talking to her and when it got out who my mum's affair partner was, my mum's friend group kind of disowned her in a way as he, 26 male, was the son of one of her close friends who already has kids. I wish I could just go back to not knowing about any of this. I don't think my family will ever recover. My older brother is in England and is adamant on staying there. My brother is angry with my mum and isn't speaking to her either. Dad is just crying and saying he's going to hire a cutthroat lawyer to divorce my mum and mum is distraught blaming me, but is demanding I talk to her as she doesn't want to lose any more of her children. Then there was a relevant comment on that one which said you did the right thing. What your mum did was downright evil and the only thing worse than having a secret kid slash affair at the edge of town would be somehow tricking your dad into thinking the kid was his and raising it. Actions like that need to be brought to the light and your father needed to know the truth about the woman he thought he knew. 
Yeah, it caused a rift, but it needed to happen. Opie replied saying, apparently, that was my mum's original plan, but her affair partner said he wouldn't let that happen, that he wanted to be in the child's life and would expose their dirty secret. So she just abandoned her child with him. Second update says, hello folks, me again. Quite a few things have happened since my last update, so I figured I'd post one last time. The situation I feel and am hoping is coming to a close. My parents are divorcing. My dad filed not so long after he found out about the baby. Mum tried to convince him not to, but it was futile. My brother still won't talk to her and my half-sister still hates her and doesn't regret hitting my mum. And I'm still feeling guilty for starting all this. Not as much as I did, but still not great. My dad wanted to know what our affair partner had to say for himself and I went with him to hear what he had to say too and to calm my dad down in case he would get violent. When we arrived on his doorstep, he looked as if he was expecting this would happen. I got to actually meet my little brother and spend time with him while there. Turns out my mum was originally planning to play the baby off as my dad's but her affair partner wanted to be in his kid's life and would expose their affair. Mum's plan wouldn't have worked as the baby very clearly looks nothing like my dad or mum who are both pale with blonde hair and my baby brother has pure black hair and olive skin tone like his dad. On to the affair. The affair partner told us that our mum told him that my folks were in an open marriage. A sort of don't ask, don't tell thing so went along with it and didn't find out she was lying until much later when mum was pregnant and he showed us text between them confirming that he thought it was fine to meet up with my mum for sex. My dad broke down in tears on this guy's couch and this man comforted my dad. This man had felt so guilty about lying to my dad's face from when they'd see each other around town or, or at a friend's barbecue but didn't want to ruin our family. He then sent screenshots of the text between him and my mum to my dad to use in court against my mum as she's trying to get what she can out of him at the moment. My relationship with my mum is still damaged and anytime she tries to blame me, I tell her it was her own actions that caused all this and that will be distancing myself from her for a while. She pleaded with me not to do that but I ended up blocking her like my brothers did. Since then, I've gone back to college and have a trip planned with my sister to go on vacation to Jamaica to visit her grandma. So that's the only thing I have to look forward to these days. Edit. Some people have gotten confused about who is who in my family, especially around me and my siblings and ethnicities. Me and my twin brother, the bio kids of my mum and dad, are very blonde Americans. Older half-brother, who is my mum's first child, who's in England, currently with his dad. Older half-sister, who is my dad's first child, that he had with a Jamaican woman that passed when my sister was young. Baby half-brother, that mum had with her affair partner. Her affair partner was of Italian and Native American descent. Both my folks are blonde with pale skin and blue eyes. Wow, and it's going pretty much as expected. I couldn't see there being any way to recover this relationship in this situation. I don't think I could ever do that myself. But I did find it interesting when they did go around to the affair partner's house and, you know, to turn it around and him to be helping the dad in this situation now. But what do you guys make of this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from Wedding Dilemma, who says, am I the asshole for telling my friend her boyfriend is not allowed at my wedding? I shall try and keep this short, though I have a tendency to ramble and add more than necessary info so I apologize ahead of time. Also, I'm on mobile. Anyway, I'm supposed to be getting married early October 2022. It's not going to be a big wedding or anything, but me and my fiance both have friends that we don't want to leave out. I have this friend, Amanda. We have known each other since high school. We aren't incredibly close by any means, but we still are somewhat good friends and hang out regularly and I would like her to be there. The problem is I just recently found out who she is now dating and she wants to bring him as her plus one. My sister Lily and her ex Steve broke up about 10 months ago because she found out he was cheating. She was heartbroken and I know along with that pain, she still has a lot of resentment for him and doesn't even like hearing his name. He was a shit boyfriend so my family has no problem with him no longer being in our lives. Eight months ago, Amanda told me she had started talking to someone and she really liked him and everything. She wouldn't tell me who, not even his name, because she said she didn't want to share anything about him till it got more serious. 
I didn't really understand the secrecy, but didn't force her to tell me anything and just let her know I was happy for her and hope it all worked out. Well, last week she told me she was dating Steve. They'd gotten more serious and she wanted to make their relationship public to the people they care about. She also said she knew how much I disliked him and what he had done to my sister and hoped I would try and understand their love and be happy for her and try to see him in a different light. I was a little shocked at first since I really didn't expect her to be with a guy like him and she knew what kind of person and boyfriend he was. But it isn't my place and I told her that I'm very happy, she's happy and that was that. Well, two days later, we were texting about the wedding and everything and she mentioned Steve being her plus one. I do not want him there. Not only because I know my sister, who's my maid of honor, doesn't want him there, but also because I don't like him and neither does my fiance. I immediately told her Steve was not invited to the wedding. She was confused and I explained to her that I was sorry and I'm happy for her, but I didn't want him there. At first, she thought it was just because my sister would be and kept saying that they wouldn't even be near each other and it would be fine. But then I explained that with everything that happened, we didn't want him there. I said sorry again, but she kept saying how I don't want her to be happy, how I just want to live in the past, how I want to punish her for finding love, stuff like that. None of that is true. And I tried to tell her that, but she stopped responding. So now I'm left feeling like a complete arsehole. And I don't know if I should just let Steve come or not. And with this one, I just, I think it's pretty simple to me, you know. It's your wedding. Both you and your fiance dislike this person, Steve. I mean, he's hurt a family member of yours. Of course, you're not going to like him. And why would you want him there? It's, it's quite that simple to me. And she knew this because that's why she was hiding him to begin with before it got more serious. She knew you would probably disapprove of it or, well, not even disapprove. You said you're happy for her, that she's happy, but you still don't like him. And, and she knew that. And, you know, Amanda should know herself that it's going to hurt her friend's sister seeing this guy there. And in the end, you know, this wedding isn't about Amanda. Amanda doesn't get a say. It's not about her love and her love for Steve. Get a grip. So first we have an edit slash update, then a full update afterwards. So first of all, I just want to say thank you everyone for commenting and giving judgment. I know I haven't replied to everyone, but I tried to give any extra info that was asked for or relevant, though I'm sorry if I didn't reply to you. Now, as I mentioned in the comments, I had a lapse in my judgment and that's what's led to this post. I thought maybe I was seeing things simply for my distaste for Steve and it was coming off as I wasn't supportive of Amanda and that's what made me think I was wrong for not allowing him to come. But I see now I'm completely in the right to not have or want him there. So he will not be invited and that won't be changing. With Amanda, I have pretty much decided that she is no longer invited to my wedding and I'm pretty sure I'm ending the friendship. But I wanted to sit down with her and have a conversation first. Not to salvage anything, but I have some things to say to her and questions to ask. With the cheating, I mentioned in the comments that we only know three girls Steve cheated with. We all believe there are more, especially since one of the affairs goes all the way back to a year. They were together for two, but we don't know for sure and have no solid evidence at the moment. And Lily doesn't care to find any. Amanda could very well be one of the unknown affair partners it's very likely that the timing and secrecy makes more sense to believe she was. Even though I intend to end this friendship and I'm finding it hard to believe that Steve wasn't cheating with her, it would still suck if she had been. Another thing I mentioned in the comments was that Amanda had offered support to my sister when everything happened. She even said more than once that Steve was an asshole for hurting Lily and for that to most likely had been an act would suck, lol. I would also like to clear up something about Amanda and her wanting to make their relationship public. Right after she told me they were dating, she started posting them on social media and telling people. So my wedding wouldn't really be their coming out event. That would definitely be a way for them to show off their relationship and gloat and everything. Still not okay, but just wanted to clear it up and not mislead anyone. Last thing, I was finally able to get a response out of Amanda. I told her I would like to talk to her about everything and get everything out in the open. And she agreed to meet with me and talk. So I shall update when that happens. Update. I wasn't sure if it would be better to post an update here or to make a separate post. So I hope here is okay. Also sorry for the wait. I was finally able to sit down with Amanda and talk today. Anyways, on to what happened. 
I didn't really want Amanda coming to my house, so we met at the small cafe place near where we live. I figured it wouldn't be too crowded and would be able to have a discussion easily there, so it was the best option. She was there first, and as soon as I sat down, she looked extremely smug. It seems she thought I had wanted to talk to apologize or something and thought I would be telling her Steve was invited to the wedding. Imagine her surprise when I almost immediately tell her that Steve is in no way allowed to attend and I officially decided to rescind her invite as well. She was instantly angry, asking why I would do that when I obviously, when I was obviously in the wrong. Why would I uninvite her simply because she wanted her partner there, etc. Bullshit like that. I let her rant on for a minute before I calmly told her what I wanted to say. I told her that my family and literally everyone important to me that would be at the wedding did not like Steve. No one but her wanted him there and multiple people would be uncomfortable if he was. I also told her it was my wedding and me and my fiance are the only people who get to decide who comes and who doesn't. I was clear that she was allowed to want her boyfriend there but I wasn't obligated to cater to her wants, especially when that's someone I don't like at all. I told her that if she had just decided not to come at first since he couldn't, I would have understood. But she tried to guilt me into inviting someone who wasn't wanted. So that's why she was no longer wanted. I told her how her actions made me feel and how I now perceived her. I made it clear I wanted to end our friendship and stop our contact. She was furious through every word. Before I ended the conversation, I told her I had a question and I wanted the complete truth. Honestly, wasn't sure if I'd get it though and I asked her point blank, was she with Steve before he and Lily split? She got nervous, wouldn't even make eye contact and stayed silent for a few seconds. I figured that told me what I wanted to know, but I honestly wanted to hear her say it. Then she did. She told me that they had been together for a year total. They started sleeping together when Steve and Lily got into an argument and Amanda started falling for him, so I thought being his mistress was better than not having him at all. At first, he would only go to her when Lily and him fought, but then he started going to her whenever Lily was busy, or other girls were. She didn't feel sorry about it at all and kept trying to justify her actions. She even tried to justify her ability to look my sister in the eyes to comfort her, all that even though she was fucking Steve for so long. She really thinks she did the right thing just because she loves him. At one point, she said that they really were in love and she was the only one in his life now. I felt bad for her then, I admit, but that's not my problem. I got up, I walked out, and I drove straight to my sister's where I am now. Told her what I had learned, and we're having a very fun girl's night in with ice cream, alcohol, and movies. Amanda and Steve are no longer my concern, and I've decided to enjoy the stress-free time while I've got it. Because I know I'm going to be stressed the closer the wedding day gets, lol. Thank you to everyone who commented. You were all right about the cheating and, and everything and I am extremely thankful for y'all opening my eyes. Now, I'm gonna turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this situation? I got to admit when OP said they felt bad for Amanda, there was a little part of me that did as well because, you know, just Steve has already proven his track record with cheating already. So, you know, she's up for a bit of the same down the road, I think. But what do you guys make of this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, support, and time always means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Much love. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs, brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my day, wake up. I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. See the sun shining from the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know that today.